Welcome to Miss D show. This is Miss D live in Finland interviewing one of the best player, the soccer player in Finland, Cynthia Wack. Everywhere you go, you see posters and people. She's a people person. And uh, I had the opportunity to interview her. And today she has a message she would like to share with the world, with our fans, the people that have been supporting her. Cynthia Wack, nice to have you. Um, yeah. Thank you. You look, Misty. You look very, very beautiful. <laughs> and uh, please, um, what message do you have for your fans? Um, I'm truly, truly blessed to have such amazing fans, such amazing people who show support. I mean, these people follow me, you know, they keep up with my week-to-week -week games, the scores and everything. And most of all, yeah, they keep telling me they want me back in the national team, they want to see me play in the national team. Yeah, if I have the opportunity, I'm just going to do it for my loyal fans because they have been so supportive. So I just want to say a very big thank you. And from the deepest part of my heart, I am grateful and humbled by the amount of love I got shown by my true and loyal fans. Yeah, well, I love one love. That's really beautiful. And tell me, um, are you still playing football for four, five, six years more to come? I don't know. I don't have, I can't tell you I'm playing for 10 years, but I'm going to keep playing so long as my legs carry me. And I've watched, I had the privilege to watch one of your games and it was amazing. I was actually scared. There's one goal that you, you pass almost six or seven players and you pass them, you kick the ball and the whole stadium was going crazy calling your name how did you do that i don't know when you bless you bless it i don't know how this thing happened yeah i mean i didn't even know like i got past like certain amount of people it, until the clips was being shown to me in the pictures i was like whoa did i really do that so yeah it just happened the only thing i think about when I'm on the field first, yeah, we have to score a goal because we have to win the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always think the way forward. Yeah, and uh, what are the biggest challenges you have as a female soccer player? Oh, challenges, I mean, the support, the financial support is actually, actually very poor, but yeah, we keep going, you know. A man's talent make a man's talent making a way for mm -hmm. him, so. Yeah. You can't just because you don't get like a certain amount of money you think you have, mm -hmm. you know, then you just have to quit. You don't quit, quit, winners never quit. So, yeah, let's keep going. Yeah, off challenges, but it is what it is. And how do you keep up? Do you practice every single day of your life, or you have certain days that you have to practice to keep up because you look really, really fit? I've never seen a woman. Who is so fit and you're always up like the past days i had interview with you i followed you some places to see how you live your life but i was so touched i can't even keep up like i am so so tired following you around it was really tough how do you keep yourself fit i'm keeping yourself fit it's not just about going out there and running and yeah you gotta take care of your body you gotta take care of your diet these are really important. Yeah, I practice every day. And yeah, of course, probably once a week I take off or twice a week. Uh, yeah, you just gotta keep, you know, the muscles going. You gotta take care of them because that is my weak one. Yeah, there are a few names that people call you the beast on the ground. Why do they call that? I don't know. They see, they know <laughs> what they see. That's why they call me that. And what about Magic C? Yeah, because they think I have so much tricks and it's like a magic look. And um, what other things would you like to say to women out there? Women that are so afraid to face their dreams. Women that are so afraid to do new things. 
just mentioned the word of hurt. Fear is a biggest enemy. Once you are scared to take a bold step, once you've, you're scared, once you have fear to get out of your comfort zone, once you don't have, to, once you have fear to think outside the box, then you cannot achieve your dreams. So fear is one enemy. And until people are able to conquer the fear in them, they actually cannot achieve their dreams. Absolutely. And tell me, what inspires you? God. What I wake up. I wake up every day with my Bible, and then the Bible says, it tells me to go, they say, fear not. So once I read the Bible, that word that says, fear not, and then I know God's got me, so I just go out there, knowing the, that the Almighty God is right behind me. He's always behind me, so He orders my steps all the time, so I fear not. I just go out there and chase my dreams. And that is what inspires me. Fear not. And what motivates you? Mm, a lot of things motivate me. I am my self-motivator because I know what I want to achieve. I know what I want in life. I go for it. If you are waiting for someone, I love the saying that says, if you got to get it done, you have to go get it yourself. If you're waiting for somebody to come and push you and make you do something, you're actually not going to get it done. So, yeah, I am my own motivation. Oh, that's really, really beautiful. And I'm so honored as Miss D interviewing one of the best soccer player, female soccer player here in Finland. And uh, your name, Cynthia Owak, is everywhere. And I am so proud to be one of the women to interview you. You look amazing. You look beautiful. I love, <laughs> I love the way you look. And one more thing. Oh my <laughs> One more thing, please. What would you say to Miss D? Oh, Miss D, you're absolutely fabulous. You're beautiful. You're bold. I mean, your voice is needed out there. You don't have to stop your motivational work. You don't have to stop the encouragement. You're beautiful inside out. And I must tell you, do not stop. I want to ask you. What would you tell all the teenagers, all the youngsters that want to be footballers, that want to be female soccer players? What are the advices would you give them? Um, it's very easy these days for people to derail from their own talent. Hmm. So if you want to excel um, and play soccer to the highest level and make it as a profession, then you have to go with the Three days determination, dedication, and discipline. Those are the three things, those are the three keys that will keep you going. Once you have those at the back of your mind, then beyond the sky is your limit. Wow, that's beautiful. And Cynthia Ola!